Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park episode, Something Walmart This Way Comes. Let's do this. You guys know what? Um, the last thing you do when you die is crap your pants. So what? random. Yeah, when you die, your jowls release and crap comes flying out your ass. Say jowls? <laughs> that is fucking stupid, Cartman. Oh yeah? I bet you five bucks that when you die you crap your pants, asshole. Get down to Metzger's Field. It's about to happen. I am pleased to be with you on this most historic day. A day you will certainly all remember as the day your town became great. The grand opening of the first South Park Walmart! <laughs> Dude, two L's. <laughs> Look at it, honey. It's so big. It's like we're a real town now. Isn't this where Stark's Pond used to be? Where we used to kayak and fish? Yeah, now it's a Walmart. Is it a good thing or a bad thing to have a Walmart in your town? Because I can see both sides of the argument. On the negative side, if a Walmart comes to your town, it's going to lose that small town feel. And it's going to drive out those small mom and pop shop businesses. And some people argue that Walmart's bringing the riffraff, right? The people that are up to no good. But I've seen good Walmarts and bad Walmarts. And I think it just kind of depends on the area. But on the positive side, Walmarts can be extremely convenient. And it brings a lot of money into the town, and it's gonna bring in some jobs as well. <laughs> it's beautiful! Ah, oh, Walmart. Welcome to Walmart. Oh, Welcome the to Walmart. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. Hello, Mrs. Mersh. Can I help can I help you get a sh shopping cart today? Well, yes, I'd love one, Jimmy. It Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> My God. Look at all these incredible bargains. Dude, check it out. Time Cop on DVD. Three copies for 18 bucks. What? Time Cop. <laughs> Van Damme. Why the hell would you want three copies of the same movie? Because this one Van copy Damme is 998 But this way you save like 20 bucks. You only need one copy, Artard. Shouldn't you go out and socialize with your friends? I am socializing, Artard. Okay, right. fine, dumbass. You go ahead and buy one copy for $9.98. Okay, fine, I will. Wait a minute, I don't even want one copy of Time Cop. <laughs> fools. Ignorant fools. The hand ringing. Just look at the Marsh family, huh? Brand new television, new plastic dishware and cups, and enough bulk buy ramen to last us a thousand winters. <laughs> Dad, how come Walmart is able to sell everything so cheap? It's simple economics, son. I don't understand it at all. But <laughs> God, I love it. And they played the music like he was really going to explain it. Uh-oh. Here we go. What are you doing? <laughs> Randy, what are you doing? No, nothing. I, I'm a... I'm just gonna head down to the Walmart real quick. Randy's an effing weirdo sometimes, but I love him. If I go down there now, there won't be anybody else there. I can have all the bargains to myself. Thanks for coming to Walmart. All are welcome. <laughs> all are welcome. All are welcome. All welcome. Guess they all had the same idea. Dude, I can't deal with Walmart right now. My parents had me there for three hours last night. Yep. Oh, sorry, boys. I'm going out of business. Why, Mr. Farkle? I can't compete with Walmart's low prices. Everyone is stopping there now, and well, I can't make ends meet. I've got to sell the store and Smack try to find him. another line of work. Carmen, stop it! Wait, I just felt like playing a little violin, Cal. <laughs> that sucks, dude! What, that's called progress, Cal. Yeah, but what about all the people getting laid off from the grocery stores? And what about all the... <laughs> Good. That's what you get. <laughs> Whatever. I can go get another one at Walmart. It was only five bucks. Five dollar violin? Business wasteland. Butters? <laughs> Butters, what the hell are you doing? 
Well, I'm just playing monster. It's kind oh, of spooky okay. out here. <laughs> Box of sporks. Dad? Jesus Christ. Stan! Stan! What? Dad, are, are you dying? No, I'm just really, really tired. I was shopping at Walmart all night. They had these little stickers filled with glitter. They were only 99 cents for 15 of them. I couldn't resist. Do you want one? Here, it's a little turtle. <laughs> Sir, we just had a big town meeting and decided we don't want your Walmart here anymore. Okay. We're sorry, but it seems our main street is dying and good people are losing their jobs. We'd all like you out of South Park. What, do you think I want to be here? I hate this place. But it won't let me leave. Walmart isn't run by anybody. First it reels you in with its pockets. Next thing you know, you, you're working at the Walmart because it has all the jobs. Then you're sitting in a little office, trapped on all sides. Then why don't you just quit? Not so loud. It can hear you. What? You hate Walmart too? Ah! I didn't say that. I love Walmart. With all its fantastic bargains and one-stop shopping, who can't love it, right? Uh, well, well, Walmart takes the hassle out of shopping and, and makes it both affordable and fun. Oh. And, and Walmart really gives back to the community. Us people are certainly lucky to have a store like Walmart, aren't we? Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I think we just got squirreled. Yeah, that guy probably thinks he can get us to go away by being so goofy. As if the hanging weren't enough! That's why Cartman said what he said. The last thing you do when you die is crap your pants. So they could set that up right there. You owe me five bucks, Kyle. Yep. I remember when we could afford to buy six steaks when we shopped at Walmart. Yeah, but Dad, the whole town agreed not to shop at Walmart anymore. I know, I know! God! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, when people die, do they always crap their... Oh, you stupid turd! Shut up, or I will destroy you, turd! Oh, Jesus, a broken glass. Well, I don't see any choice now. We have to go to Walmart. We do? Well, where else are we going to get a new glass at this hour? Everyone get your shoes on. We're going to Walmart. He can't stay away. And neither can the rest of the town. Hey. Gerald, what are you doing? We said we weren't going to shop at the Walmart anymore. Mr. Garrison, Chef Jimbo! Now, come on, people! What the hell is wrong with you? Don't you what? see what you're all doing? Well, what are you doing here, Randy? Yeah. I came because I wanted to make sure nobody was shopping here. Dad. Oh, all right, and maybe I was going to buy a glass. One glass and some chips and butter and some new pliers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we all don't like the Walmart, but we can't stop coming here. It's like some mystical evil force. We have to find a way to put the South Park Walmart out of business once and for all. Let's burn it down! No, no, no. Let's freeze it. All you have to do is not shop at Walmart anymore. If you want it to go away, all it takes is a little self-control and personal responsibility. Always jealous of the Walmart. You always hated it. Dude, our town is going to be better without the What the That was fast. That was really fast. And everybody's Mom, back. Dad, why are you shopping here? We can't destroy it, son. We have to learn to live with it. Can I help you? Oh ah! Dad, <laughs> what are you doing? You get a discount working here. 10%. That means the bargains are even better. Dad, you're a geologist. Randy, you've been replaced. They took my job! I'll make less money, sure, but as long as I buy everything at Walmart, it'll all even out. Walmart isn't our enemy. It's our neighborhood friend. Hey! Who the hell told you to put this thing back up? Sorry, kid. We got orders from corporate headquarters. But nobody wants a Walmart here. You're gonna have to talk to the higher-ups. Where are they? Bentonville, Arkansas. That's where Walmart okay. started. That's where all the big wigs are. Is the Walton family still in control of Walmart? Whoa, Pixie Sticks, 29 cents. Pixie Sticks. 
Lamad? Are you speaking to me? My friends, trying to hurt you again? Yes, Lamad, I understand. Creepy. Hold up. I want to go with you and help out. No way. You want to go with us so you can betray us at some point and keep us from destroying the Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, huh? You want to go with us so that later you can go you for too long. the Walmart all along or something. Dude, just let him come. The bus is about to leave. All right, fine. Come on, fat ass. Heh <laughs> heh. You fools have no idea that I would never let you hurt the Walmart. I heard that. You heard what? You said we have no idea that you're never going to let us hurt Walmart. <laughs> That's not what I said. Yeah, we've come to complain. We don't want a Walmart in our town. Who does? Nobody likes what the Walmart does. But it keeps right on doing it. Don't say it out loud. Why don't you talk to who's in charge? In charge? I guess that would be Harvey Brown. He's the current president of Walmart, one of the original creators. We invented the Walmart Supercenter in 1987. The idea was simple. Build a store for one-stop shopping where bulk purchases could keep prices incredibly low. In just four years, it was out of control. So how do we stop it? Nothing can stop the Walmart in your town! Unless, of course, you can find and destroy its heart. Why don't you guys just destroy the heart? Because the Walmart stops you! Many have tried, kid. Union leaders, nature activists, even the best fair trade lawyers have tried to stop the Walmart, and now... They are Walmart shoppers all. Oh boy. What did we do? Boys, tell the world no, I'm sorry. Don't. No, dude, don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's ten bucks you owe me, dick face. All right, this is it. The war pain. Walmart has a heart. We have to find it and destroy it. No matter what the Walmart does to try to stop us, we have to be strong. I'm afraid not, Cal. Walmart is a great store. I cannot let you fools ruin its terrific bargains. You see, I was working for Walmart all along. I knew you were. No, you didn't. Yes, yes I did. You did. I said from the beginning that you would do this. You see, Kyle, it was me who slashed, slashed the, bus the bus tires in Arkansas. I said so. I told you the <laughs> minute. <laughs> la, 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 la. I can't I hear you. you I, I can't that. hear you. La, 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 la. We don't have time for this. Kenny, keep him away from us. <laughs> Very well, Kenny. Let us batter. Oh, Kenny. Kenny, knock it off. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Boys, these axes are only $4.99. <laughs> Dad, we know how to destroy the Walmart. Shh. Oh, my God. What? Those $2 salt and pepper shakers. They were $3 five minutes ago. The Walmart is lowering its prices to try to stop us. He dropped his axe, though. Ah! Don't look. Don't look at its bargains. I think I see the television department in the back. Is that the right way, Dad? Dad? Where did he go? Dad? The screwdriver set is only $9.98. Oh, cheap scare. Come on, Dad. <laughs> I can't make it, boys. You're going to have to go on without me. Go, hurry. I'm going to go buy these screwdrivers. There, the television department. Hello, boys. Hello, Neil. Congratulations on getting this far. Who are you? I am Walmart. I have taken this form in order to talk to you. But I can take many forms. Does this suit you better? Or perhaps you prefer this form? What? You're not changing anything. I can take whichever <laughs> form I like. You're just putting on... We don't want your store in our town. We've come to destroy you. Where's the heart? Very well. You want to see the heart of Walmart? It lies beyond that plasma screen television. It's a mirror. Yes, don't you see? That is the heart of Walmart. You, the consumer. I okay. take many forms. Walmart, Kmart, Target. But I am one single entity. Desire. No! Ah! No! No, what have you done? Now you shall see my true form. <laughs> now you see me as I truly am! Get out! It's gonna blow! Dad, come on, we gotta get out! It's too late for me, son! I have to buy this stuff! Go, oh, Randy! Is exploding. Everybody out now! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> How did you do it, Kyle? All Walmart started.
a self-destruction sequence if you break a mirror in the back. We know how to destroy it now. Spread the word to other towns. Wait. I think I understand the symbolism of the mirror. The Walmart is us. Yeah. You see, boys, if we <laughs> like our small town charm more than the big corporate bullies, we all have to be willing to pay a little bit more. Let's all go shop at Jim's Drug down the street. Yeah! 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 <laughs> oh, Lord, Kumbaya. All right, let's not make that mistake again. Yeah, let's go shop <laughs> over at True Value. Let's go! Yeah. You can do it again. I like South Park episodes like this because not only are they funny, but they get you to think too. In this case, about business and economics, consumerism. And I just love business stories anyway. If you know of any other good South Park business episodes, please let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for this one. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.